Hey kittens, Silver here with Sammy the Samoyed by Douglas Cuddle Toys. And today we've got another package to open. Surprise, surprise. Um, and this was uh, another dog that I was kind of hedging on for a while. Um, wasn't completely sold on him, but I actually found him for a very good price uh, in Canada of all places. Uh, he actually cost less there than it would have at normal retail price when he was still available. Um, but he's actually been retired, so I figured I might as well snag and uh, see how I liked him in person. And hopefully everything works out. Um, and I'm hoping this is the right one as well, because the box is a little bit smaller than I thought it would be. Um, given the size, or, or what I understand to be the size of this particular plush. So hopefully it's the right one. Um, so let's take a look and see what we have. And I did get a head start on this box because um, I would have absolutely decimated it if I had tried to do it one hand, one-handed. It was, it was so, so taped up. And actually, I probably could have even uh, done a little bit more because I am still struggling a bit here. Let me see. All right, hopefully I can get this out without having to resort to using the knife or the scissors again. All right, so um, as you might be able to surmise, this is going to be a sheep dog. And look at that shaggy fur. Yeah, I guess this is probably the right size because they really stuffed him in there, like, really tightly. Oh, my goodness. He's going to have some wicked box fur when he comes out. Oh, boy. But he has that sort of uh, unkempt, sort of almost tangled hair look. Um, I've seen, mostly I've seen the smaller version of this plush. This is the large one. Um, so this is going to be William the Sheepdog. And oh boy. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> He's going to be quite a mess. Now let me see. He is going to require very extensive grooming. I Oh my gosh. Okay. Wait a minute. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, he's very soft though. Oh, look at him. Look at the face on him. Wait a minute. Okay, I have to get past the really unkempt appearance right now because um, the face is actually very cute. Oh my. <laughs> he does have a cute face though. I just, I, I can't get over the, uh, the sort of Einstein hairdo he's got going on. But I'm going to smooth that out as best as I possibly can. Um, but oh my gosh, wait, look at the size of him. Um, I don't know what the exact size is. Over, I know he's over 20 inches. He's um, one of the Jumbo Deluxe. There was only two of the Jumbo Deluxe dogs that, that I know of. So it was, um, uh, it was this guy, William, and there was Ocean, who is uh, basically a carbon copy of, of River, just a larger size. But I really wanted the... Uh, I was really kind of um, looking for a different breed. I, I hadn't had the uh, the smaller sheepdog, um, and I felt like like the sheepdog should be larger. Um, I don't know, just just sort of my perception. Um, oh my goodness, he's really really soft though, and really ultra squishy. That you know that same sort of understuffed. Um, you know, kind of method that they use for their deluxe plushies. Yeah, despite um, how the fur looks, it is it is very soft. Um, the texture is a little different because it has that sort of crimped quality. And let me just show you his tag. So there's the deluxe. All right, so oh, yeah, now you have a pretty good idea of how much I paid for him. Um, so yeah, that's William Sheepdog, large size. So yeah, there's a smaller one called Gunner, um, who looks basically the same. The, the, the only other difference between the Jumbo uh, version of the Sheepdog and the small one is that he has the leatherette nose, uh, whereas the smaller one has the plastic, the plastic nose. Um, but the, uh, the leatherette nose is, is a little nicer, I think. Um, it just looks more realistic. Um, and probably less prone to scratches and that sort of thing. Oh, but look at the face, though. Oh, when, when you, you know, get past all the hair and everything, it's actually a really sweet face. 
Look at him. Oh, poor baby. <laughs> he had kind of a delay, too, because he got stuck in, um, was it, uh, it was a Chicago Customs for some reason, which was kind of bizarre because my uh, international packages never end up in Chicago. But um, he got held up there for a while, and so things were a little bit touch and go for a, while, for a little bit there. But, um, yeah, I just really need to sort of brush him out and try to tame his hair a little bit. I mean, you kind of want that sort of disheveled, shaggy appearance. He is a sheepdog, after all. Um, oh, look at him, though. He's really sweet. Oh, the big boy. He's got these big floppy paws as well. I mean, he's just, oh yeah, they're nice and weighted, too, the paws with the um, with beans. Oh, look at him. <laughs> oh, I can't get over the, the hairdo, though. I just, <laughs> I'm going to have to try to, um, I'm going to try to tame it somewhat, kind of corral all that hair. Oh, man, though, he's going to be so much fun to cuddle with, no doubt about it. And he's like this nice sort of a, uh, two-tone gray and white and the tummy's all all white underneath and he's just so floppy oh my gosh so now that I have a good uh, a good idea of just the scale of these dogs now I'm gonna have to think about what I want to do with the uh, with ocean the um, the great Pyrenees one but I probably can't fit anything else in my collection at this point anyway but um, oh look at him though oh gosh He's really sweet, guys. Oh, And the fact that um, he's no longer in production just kind of uh, made me want to get him all the more because he's probably going to become increasingly hard to find as time goes on. So I'm, I'm actually, I'm really glad that I got him. Oh, yeah, I can tell. This one is, yeah, he's, he's already starting to work on me. Um, so that's William, everybody. Um, so thank you guys once again for tuning in, and I will be back soon with some more fun with plush. Bye, everybody.